Um, just look at this, baby. So what, which one is the one on the left and which one is the one on the right? Well, this one right here. Uh-huh. Let's start with the biggest one. Okay. This is the 11.6. This is the 11.6 11 11 C4 Waterman. We call this the, um, we call this the standum board. <laughs> and the reason we call it the standum board is, as you know, Brian, um, well, last year was a world champion uh, tandem surfer. This year it's uh, Kalani Vieira and his partner Blanche. Um, but this has been Brian's dedicated tandem board um, and also is a great stand-up board. So then we decided to coin the phrase the standum board. So this is the Brian Kailana model standum board. What's neat about this board is um, at the last Spain World Championships of, of tandem, all three First, second, and third place of the champion world championships, we're all using this board right here. Right. We're all using the C4 BK Standum. But great stand-up board to learn, um, great stand-up board to cruise, very loose for its style. That's why the tandem guys like it, because it's a very loose, fast board um, that works good with heavy loads. Of course, you know, when you're tandem with somebody, you got two people on board, so um, it's really good that way. You know, Dave parmenter has been shaping these big boards at Makaha forever, um, you know, taking care of the big Makaha boys. Um, he's able to put high performance into big boards just because he's been doing it for so long. His uh, repertoire and pedigree as a, as a top short board and wave gun shaper, he combines that with the aspects of making it big stuff for big guys. And that's why some of his boards are some of the loosest. So he's pretty much making surfing boards for bigger dudes as opposed to like cruising kind of stuff, Well, that's stuff, where he yeah? started. That's where he started, you know? So it was an easy, easy progression for him to go to a very big board that's loose. Uh -huh. And that's what you get out of this 11.6. I mean, this 11.6 turns, nose rides, it, it's a beautiful board. So the bottom is flat or is it concave? Oh, uh, no, no, there's no concave in any of our boards. Uh -huh. It's all about rocker. You know, one thing that's important to remember about um, stand-up boards, a lot of people get caught up into the fact that, oh, how wide is it? How long is it? It's not about width and it's not about length. That holds true for women too, by the way. Um, <laughs> um, it's, about, it's about what the rocker is doing, what the, what the rail is doing, what the side cut template is. Um, that's what makes a board stable. It has, it's really not as much to do with width and length as it is about what the shape is and what the design is. And, and you know, with, the, with all the years of experience that Dave has, um, he's been able to make shorter boards that are just as stable as some of the longer boards out there. So it's more the rocker? What about the rail and stuff? It's then? about rocker, it's about rail, it's about template, it's about everything. It's, it's, a, it's a blend of all types of shapes, designs, curves that make a board. It's not just width and length. And uh -huh. um, something that we've been working on, well, you know, Dave and Brian are masters at it, so I'll leave that to them. But um, yeah, that's what makes these boards so great paddling. You know, we're trying to have an osmosis here. We're trying to have an osmosis of canoe paddling, which is all of our expertise, and surfing. So you're trying to bring the two together. And so, um, you really have to understand the sport when you shape boards for this. You have to understand paddling and you have to understand surfing. So the cool, th I think the cool thing on this, this bigger ones or even these other ones is they actually don't do that crabbing, you know, where it goes like kind of left to right when you paddle and stuff a lot. It's, no, it's, it's really pretty important. good that way. We, I think they call it in sailing, they call it the yaw. So uh. when you pull on the right, the board doesn't yaw to the left yeah. and vice versa. And so that's another important feature that, you know, you have to design into your board. And again, that all comes with rail, rocker, template, everything. It's all part of it. It's not just grabbing a big ass board. <laughs> not just a big board, big ass big board. Big ass board. <laughs> so this one is what, 10 feet? This is a 10 foot, this is a 10 foot BK high performance. And this is, um, this is a shape, this is in full production now and um, available through Boardworks. How wide is it? Um, this is about 20, a little over 27 wide. Um, this is the same uh, 
wing swallow that we've been riding now for about three years. Um, Brian, it's kind of based off of what Brian's design and what Brian is looking for. So some of the shots that you see of Big Makaha to even surfing small waves in Noosa, if you see any of those, that's this board. So, so how much does Brian weigh? Brian weighs about 190. Uh-huh. And um, so this so is not I've seen form? this board. I've seen this board rip in Noosa at the Noosa Fest in two feet, and I've seen Brian pull in the barrel at Makaha at you know 25 foot faces on this same board. So what's the deal on this back stuff? What is what is this called? This kind of uh, you know, like this kind of. What is a, this we just call thing? it a wing swallow. Wing swallow. Does yeah. it make it turn? It makes it turn better or something? It, it's again. It's all about design. It's all about rocker. It's all about side cut. There's a lot going on here that um, most people probably wouldn't get. But um, there's a lot of different curves and and designs that are going on within this board itself that makes it a great all around um, surfing board, uh, paddling board for big waves and small waves. And it's high performance. This is a high performance board. Mm -hmm. So this it's based not really on, for this like is the based amateurs, on Brian's right? design. This is Brian. For the guys that got super good balance and stuff like that. Yeah, I mean it's or fairly lighter stable. Um, no, it's pretty stable. When you get better, you'll go to this one. Oh. Uh. Yeah. <laughs> um, okay. Next we go to even more of a this this board is this is the nine six. This is the nine six Parmenter. And this is designed, this is uh, a board that Dave made for me. Dave actually made a set for Brian, myself, uh, himself, and both my sons uh, to ride. And this is a great all around, a little bit shorter, a um, little bit pulled in board for, uh, again, more high performance riding. Is that the one that Brandon was on in the contest? This is the one that Brandon rides in the contest, yeah. Very similar. So the same on this. You know Actually, this... no, this is not the one Brendan rides. This is the one Christian rides. Brendan rides a 9-0 version of this. Uh-huh. Yeah. So this one is how big? 9-6? This is 9-6. And then this kind of tail, does it make it turn faster? Or yeah, what's the I mean, deal on that? it keeps that? the board really loose. Helps it move around. Huh. Oh, so these ones, you didn't put the... um. The leash plug things in them. No, these are these are all um, too light these already. Are all hand handmade custom boards that are basically um, a set of uh, original prototypes that are now uh, again. This one's also in full production at Boardworks and and is available um, next month uh, in full production. Was it October? Yeah, we just got October. done showing them at the ASR shows and everything else. This is the nine six high performance. This is what they call bat wing, right? This kind of this thing. is a bat tail. Oh, bat tail. And bat this tail. again, this is another one that is in full production and uh, available uh, starting in October. And this is the 90 bat tail. And again, this is one of uh, three boards that were made um, by Dave for the three of us. And we tried a bunch of different ones um, and uh, came up with the best design. This board is really good for uh, smaller people that are kids. My, my young boy rides this uh, board. Or like girls or something? Girls that, chicks who rip. <laughs> chicks who rip will like this board. Uh -huh. um, and it's a really fun board. This thing's a little pocket rocket. This would be a great board for a, a hot surfer that's surfing a beach break or something like that that really needs to fit in the pocket and just really wind it up. Um, some of the some like you'll see in some of our how-to videos that are that are actually out now. Um, these are some of the small boards that we're. So using. this one is nine two. Is that what you said? This one's nine feet. Nine feet by by around twenty seven. Uh huh. Um, again, and then what, it's like... not about width. It's not about length. It's all about the way this thing is designed and shaped. And again, we strive for a design that's shorter, but yet doesn't paddle with a yacht, lot of yaw. This board. And the 9.6 paddle surprisingly fast for their size. They're very fast paddling. And they don't yaw and broach side to side when you paddle them as much as um, some other short boards. It's, again, it's, a, it's the way the rocker's been set up. It's the way the, the, the template is and the tail and everything else. These are fun boards. This is just a, that's a great board for uh, the guy who just wants to sit in the pocket and rip it up. <laughs> 